hello everyone i hope you all are doing well now today in this video i am kind of going to describe my situation before that efi jejuals exam last year because i think uh, many of you are suffering the same problems which i have also faced and it will help you uh, to know how i used to tackle all those problems and how i solved them now first of all i would say you are lucky because the TFA Jejuals exam this year is on 14th of December but last year it was on 8th 8th December now <clears throat> the first the first problem i faced was regarding the final like final semester exam uh, i am pretty sure that for many of you the fifth semester exam is either still going on will be over in few days or i'm just over so uh, there was a huge conflict in my mind whether i should focus on the uh, competitive exam tfs jejuals exam or i need to focus on the semester exam because i was performing uh, well in the previous semester exams uh, i was having a good academic record uh, for the last four semesters therefore there was kind of a pressure on my mind to perform similarly in the fifth semester exam as well so there was a really huge conflict now one thing you need to understand that if you are unable to qualify the competitive exams like iit jam or jejuals but if you are scoring a great sgpa cgpa in your competitive exam this is just worthless there is no value but uh, what will you do with the semester marks uh, but if you are able to qualify the exam but your semester marks are well but not up to that standard this is absolutely fine so this was uh, the actual thing which i should understand at that moment but i am here to tell you focus mainly on the competitive exam now the second thing is regarding the syllabus uh, if you visit the tifr gs website there is no syllabus mentioned so i was in a huge dark darkness what thing i mainly need to focus to score the maximum marks i talked to many of my seniors and they told me uh, to solve the pyqs and revise the theory portion uh, based on the previous year questions now at this moment you don't need to uh, solve uh, all the questions or visit all the questions and make a syllabus i have already told you a brief syllabus analyzing all the previous year questions i have made a video regarding my jejuals preparation where where i have briefly described about the syllabus and i think that will help you now this is regarding the syllabus because for iit jam there is a uh, well mentioned syllabus in the website but this is not in the case of tifa jejuals exam now another thing is uh, while uh, now you know the uh, brief syllabus and uh you know the outline of the syllabus but whenever you are going to solve the previous year questions uh, like whenever i was going to solve the previous year questions uh i was able to solve many questions of biology but whenever it comes to physics or few questions of chemistry uh, i generally used to stuck because there is no formula based questions uh, which are asked in iit jam exam and this is a huge problem now first of all uh, i used to read the brief theory of the entire syllabus let's say any syllabus of uh, like uh, any chapter of physics and then i come to the previous year questions asked in jejuals exam and uh, even after reading the brief theory i was unable to answer and i i am sure that many of you are having the same problem and this is quite natural because tfa is not be going to tfa will not be going to ask you easy question and you don't need to expect from tfa that uh, he will uh, ask you formula based questions or very much easy questions the questions will be tough and still you have to attempt the paper and maximize your marks and you don't need to score 90% 80% 70% even if are even if you are able to score at least 50% of 45 to 50% i think that would be enough to qualify the exam now this is the thing but i was too much tensed about uh, about my like uh, my situation while solving the previous year questions because i was unable to solve, solve maximum questions of physics few questions of chemistry and few questions of biology as well now 
another th another thing is uh, biology and general aptitude is the most scoring section and you need to carry maximum marks from these two sections and uh, each of the sections carry 20 marks and uh, you need to target that uh, from the 40 marks of uh, biology and general aptitude at least you have to carry 30 to 35 or around more than 30 marks uh, and from the uh, physics and chemistry section you you need to carry at least 10 to 15 marks if possible and this is the thing but uh, at that moment i was unable to get that because uh, i thought that uh, i need to score 70 80 percent otherwise i will i will be unable to uh, qualify the exam and i was too much upset about that now this is another thing now uh, uh, another thing is about so about the previous year questions now if, if you are uh, just uh, reading the theory of a chapter that will not be going to give you confidence you will get the confidence whenever you are able to solve the previous year questions even if you are not able uh, let's say using any AI platform like uh, ChatGPT or Gemini you solve the previous year questions and whenever you are revisiting those questions you are able to mark them right and the uh, solution to that questions are in your mind now and uh, this is one important thing Be that's why uh, to uh, boost up your confidence you need to uh, solve the previous year questions at, at least once and revise all those questions at least once because this will give you huge confidence and this is very much important now I, I, I can still remember whenever uh, only two to three days were left for the exam I used to like stay awake for late night and even if uh, whenever I was traveling to the examination center uh, through a car uh, I was still solving the previous year questions in fact so questions of physics uh, so that was a very like bad situation uh, I, 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 would, I would never suggest you to uh, left those questions till the last day try to complete all the previous year question solving at least before uh, four to five days before the exam and for the last three to four days revise those questions and this will boost up your confidence and don't repeat the mistakes i have done before the exam because i i was just frustrated because uh, like before the exam and uh, i uh, lastly i thought that uh, I will not be able to qualify the TIFR exam and I need to focus uh, on the IIT exam or other exams and in that way I like told myself don't worry uh, there are a lot of exams left and I would suggest you don't uh, fall into the trap of other exams because every exam is important and TIFR exam is very very important and that's why this is the whole point of uh, this discussion i hope this will help you uh, to know on which you need to focus and if you have any questions regarding the exam you can definitely ask me in the comment section i will try to help you as soon as possible and thank you